Howdy, Practical Patriots and Practical Preppers. Yote, Gruss, Aus, Texas. Hey, check out what came in the mail. Not one, but two optics from a company called Siley Optics. Always ready, always on. They're the same type of optic. I guess they want me to put them on uh, two different kinds of firearms and put them to the test. This is called the Bull X Pro. Fully submersible and rainproof. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Let's try that out in my environmental test. Taking a look at what comes in the box here. So what you get is a bunch of cards. Uh, you know, this one talking about if you're having issues. Uh, to call them, lens cleaning cloth. This one is basically talks about how to adjust the optic from point of impact. So, you know, trouble holding zero has got some good instructions on there. This one talks about, you know, how to mount this on your pistol. You know, of course, basically keeping everything clear so the brass coming out will not hit the optic or anything. Sadly, I do not have a pistol that is designed for this. But I'll show you how I came that here in just a second. Read your instructions, okay? Always read your instructions. A little decal for you. The thing about this optic is, guys, it has the shake awake, which is what I really am getting into after an incident I happened out here on the farm. So I really am into the Motac shake awake type optics. I don't want to have to fiddle with a knob or anything. I know people say it kind of runs down your batteries and whatnot, but always, always, always have extra batteries. Now, when you turn this thing on for the first time, when you read the instructions, it's going to talk about a plus or minus here. Okay, plus or minus is actually the uh, up and down arrows on this optic. So once you turn it on, it's on. If it sits for about four minutes, it should shut off. But if you pick it up and it kind of senses motion, it will turn on. That said, you've got a couple of different options for your reticles. Now, you can turn that option off. It's here in the instructions. You do have the options for a few different kinds of reticles here. And the default reticle for this site is a 2 MOA dot centered in a 24 MOA circle with four positioning points right there. That's your default one. Now, if you want to change that out, okay, you can change it by holding down the plus. It says plus button, guys. It, it's, it's an up-down arrow on this one, on the two that I got. And uh, just hold it down for about three seconds. can change it over to the red dot. I personally prefer the red dot um, over any other at my age because of my eyesight <laughs> okay now as i showed you like this with a pistol this is my glock 19 gen 5 it's not cut out for that so what i had to do was i had to go to amazon and order this of course this is an amazon product i will try my best to put the link in either the item description or the comments i had to get this because now i got to put this on a different firearm other than my pistols kind of aligns on here please make sure you get the right one Ta -da. okay use the screws that come with it with this one right here that said this is the one you're going to need right here if you order this optic and you want to mount it on something that's got you know a top rail or something like that use this right here this one Keyword RMR. All right. Not too bad. This is from Ohunt. Again, I will try to include that in the item description. Can't stress this enough. Use the screws that come with it. No Loctite on there. Put some on there. Let it set for about 24 hours or so. This first environmental test I call a cold winter's day and there's a predator out there. Make sure my optic is running. And the scenario is you are inside your nice toasty house and all of a sudden you hear the animals kind of alarming and everything. You have to step from a nice warm house into zero temperature. Give that a few seconds and let's see what happens. Let's see if that lens fogs up or if the optic stops working all together. And next to the tater tots and all, my optic is still working. Next test. So for this test, you go outside, you get your firearm with you, and then all of a sudden, that happens. Rain, you know, monsoon. If you were in the military during the days of Reforger and Team Spirit and all that funny stuff, or if you're a homestead defender, Central Texas, bright, shiny day, all of a sudden you go outside and guess what happens? It just out of nowhere starts raining on you <laughs> it does happen so let's see what we got 
and we are still let me get that a little where you can see it a little better it's still functioning awesome all right but the next thing you know it's so slippery that you fall in the pond takes you about what 10 seconds to get out of that pond one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand six one thousand seven one thousand eight one thousand nine one thousand ten see what you got here nice little pond water there shake it out and uh, caught a glimpse of it. Still functioning. All right. Well, heck, at this point, how about we mount this up on a firearm or two and see how well she functions. For my first firearm test using the Siley Bull Optic here, I'm in celebration of the Supreme Court's decision, here is my X-Tar. <laughs> All right. All right. It's about time we have voices for those of us in the 2A community. So, here we go. Let's load a few rounds in here and got a target down range and let's see where I about I hit to. A little bit of margin for error. Let's see what we got. Okay. Let's go have a look. 25 meters. Pistol caliber carving and Lacey having fun out in the sprinklers uh, to keep the hot brass from catching on fire. Okay, four rounds, not bad. Not hitting the, well, one did hit the X. Again, size of my fist, guys. Qualifications, size of my fist. Alrighty. So for this part of the test, I brought out the Chinese Mac 90 chambered in 7.62 by 39. Uh, testing out again the Bull X Pro. Let's see how well it does. Got some fresh paper down range. All right, here we go. All right, let's check out, see how well we did. 25 meters. Okay, I'll consider that not too bad, okay? Uh, one, two, three right here. Again, size of the fist. Why size of the fist important? Anyone, anyone at all? Correct. The person who said anatomical size of vital organs and size, smallest size of a predator that can eat your chickens and stuff, you got that one correct. In conclusion, I have to say that the Siley Bull X Pro did really well out here. It handled the environmental tests really well, like a champ. It held up to the shaking and quaking of the Chinese Mac 90, chambered in 7.62 by 39, and got shots on target really well with the XTAR EP9. That said, cost will set you back about 284 bones. Now, keep in mind, this thing has survived the environmental test and everything else. So I'm not going to complain about that. One thing I will add is notice these lightning cuts right here. Right here. Okay, because it is so dry out here right now, July 2024, Central Texas, I had to turn my sprinkler system on to keep the casings from catching the grass on fire. So water, like it was raining, got in here. It did not do anything to the optic. But it did, the water did get on the lens, and then it gave me two red dots to look at, so that was easy to rectify. Just look at the one that's around the sight post and use that for your aiming point. Other than that, as an engineer, I probably would not put these lightning cuts, but that's, again, my two cents. Questions and comments, leave them below. Until I see you all again, I'm Johnny the Practical Nurse, out here, salute.